Welcome back to my channel. Today's tutorial is all about loose watercolor florals and for fun layers we're adding ink illustrations and gold and white paint for opaque accents. And if you're new, hello, my name is Nisha and I teach watercolor and illustration tutorials. So let's go over some supplies first. We have some ink pens here. You want to make sure that whatever you use is waterproof and double check that it's not water resistant and it actually is waterproof. So some of my favorite brands are the Tombow brand. They make a good waterproof ink pen. The other one is this Mangaka. I don't know how to say that exactly. I think it's a Japanese brand and they make a really good pen as well and it's waterproof ink. And then my all-time favorites are, of course, the Micron pens. These are really popular. You'll find a lot of artists use these and they come in different sizes and styles and they just work really great with any other type of paint and material. The other thing I have is a gold acrylic paint and a white acrylic paint. These are my general go-tos. And the other one, Copic Opaque White. And it is so amazing. You can re-wet it, so once it dries, you can activate it again with water and reuse it again. It works almost like a really thick ink. I find it to have better coverage than the regular white acrylic paints that I have. You can also find my full supply list in the description below. All right, let's get started. So I have watercolor paper, paints, brushes, and jars of water. We will start with some loose florals. So beginning with some pinkish paint and putting in the beginning of a rose and then rinsing my brush and then making more translucent petals outwards. I have a full video that goes into rose petals and I'll link it here. So if you haven't seen that already, I would recommend watching that and practicing roses if this is brand new to you. and then putting in a little abstract to lip shape. And then getting a little bit more paint and making a second rose and doing the same thing with the translucent petals. While it's still wet, I'm dropping in a few extra colors to brighten up the florals. And then using some purple to put in some petals here. And then I'm rinsing my brush and making more translucent marks going outward. And then mixing up some green and I'm adding in all the leaves and maybe a few branches. Varying up the shades of green can be a really fun effect. You can do that by adding a little bit more yellow into your green or adding a little bit more blue into your green and getting a nice range. And then you can add a few stem pieces and leave a little bit of white space to fill those areas in. And then for some contrast in shapes, I'll add in some abstract berries. I really like this blue color. With loose florals like this, it's fun to just keep the marks really fresh and maybe do one or two strokes and then keep it as is. All right, so that's our first layer. We're gonna let that dry fully and then we will work with some inks on top. Okay, so now that it's dry, I'm gonna go in with my ink pen and add a few fun lines and details. If you like, I have a free download you can grab. It's a floral illustration guide, and I will link this below in the description. It's a bit like having a cheat sheet on hand, so if you run out of ideas or need some inspiration, just have a look. Adding illustrations on top of watercolors can be intimidating, especially if you haven't done it before. 
but just remember to go slow and take breaks and come back to your work with fresh eyes if you're not sure that you want to continue adding another layer. This is really just like doodling, using the same botanical and floral elements. We're just adding them in, but this time with a pen. If you love botanical illustration, definitely check out the links below. I have a course on both watercolors and ink illustrations for all things botanical. This video is barely scratching the surface, so if you are interested and you want to do a deep dive and really understand the skills and techniques, I'd love for you to join me there. So when you're putting these in, just think about adding a variety of lines and shapes and styles. So some small, some big, some inked in and some really delicate and fine lines. The variety is what will give you that nice visual interest. Fun to also add some outline roses, just a bunch of circular wiggly lines. I also have a video that goes into this. It's illustrating roses in three different ways and they're very simple. It also comes with a printable PDF guide and I will link that video here as well. All right, so using that Copic white paint, I'm going in and adding a few highlights to some of the florals and along each of the leaves. Wherever you want to add a highlight, you can add this. I'm also using a small detail brush and it makes it easier to get into the tiny areas. Okay, so for the last step, I'm going to use that gold acrylic paint and add in a few more accents. So I'm not going to go too far with this because there is a lot going on already. So I'm just going to add a few more delicate lines with the detail brush and then call it done. When you're trying to evaluate your composition and knowing when to stop is, is a hard thing sometimes, the best thing to do is take a step back and look at the overall piece and look for a balance in color, texture, size, shape, all the elements and that there's a variety. All right, there we go. So you can see the gold shining in the light and all the layers of the loose watercolors and the ink details on top. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you have fun with this one. There are so many options to play around with and materials to test out. Also, check the description. I run a free watercolor challenge for beginners. And I also have a beginner friendly watercolor class. It's a course all about botanical illustration. So check out the links below and I'll see you there.